We're in November now, which is an absolutely crazy time of the year for us here at Gymshark. Black hoodie, black scully, black that on white floor. I've been dragging my suits, but black to my roots. I walked in this... So it's absolutely nuts, and in particular, we thought we would do a video on Black Friday. But there's so much that happens before Black Friday, and actually the vast, vast majority of our prep obviously happens before the event itself. We thought we'd do a quick video to let you know how we're getting on here, what preparations we're doing to make sure that this is the best Black Friday we've ever done, and just give you a little bit of a behind the scenes view of what happens at Gymshark headquarters in November. You probably gotta post them yet. I'm not even close to that. I just up smashing, I'm packing up no. I can't tell you just how much prep goes into Black Friday and pretty much the prep for this Black Friday or this sort of peak sales uh, season for us started as soon as the last one had finished. And we've done some huge, huge, like multi-million dollar investments to make sure that we are in the best position possible from an operations and logistics point of view for this Black Friday. Obviously, we also do our preparations here. So we've got customer support. We've got people who are coming in on a temporary basis to help us out from a customer support point of view. And those guys have been onboarded in customer support for several weeks now. Um, so that part of the office over there is absolutely rammed at the moment. And there's a bunch of really cool people that have uh, come in and are helping us out. I'm really excited because I know that it's like the biggest sale that we've had. Yeah. And I really want to be able to provide our customers with like, the best service and because I'm in charge. And how are you finding onboarding all the sort of blackout staff? It's gone really well. We've got them two weeks training and then time spent with the team before yeah. the sale. So it's a lot longer than they've ever had. And we're making sure that they're really like settled and feel part of the team. Mm -hmm. And they've got all the knowledge, knowledge they need. We've got our more commercial teams who are obviously trying to forecast and understand the sales. We've got the tech team that are trying to understand the peak amount of requests and the amount of people that will be on the website by the second so we can understand where that peak is and we can be constantly talking to the team at Shopify Marketing, which is where I'm working at the moment. We've done a hell of a lot of work in making sure that we're getting the message out to as many people as possible. And then on the brand side of things, we've created a campaign which I think is just the most fun cool and just unique looking campaign I think we've ever done. This is an impactful, fun campaign. It's supposed to really sort of demonstrate and sort of a tongue-in-cheek look on how Black Friday has been, particularly at Gymshark, which is quite carnage in the past. But it's a really special campaign. It's something I'm really, really happy with. And I think the brand team and the creative team that made it should be really, really proud. There's an an incredible amount of things that happen across the entire business and the business scales massively for this period. And it's a really, really important time of the year for us. And we've had it go both ways, right? We've had Black Fridays and periods like this that go really, really well. And we've had incredibly tough times as well. There was a Black Friday that some of you might remember from several years back where the website crashed. We just couldn't handle the amount of people that were accessing it. And essentially everything went wrong and it took us a long, long, long time to recover from that. And that's really stuck with us and it certainly stuck with myself. And we go out of our way to make sure that that will never, ever, ever happen again. Although it's something that I wouldn't have any, any other way. I think one of the really special parts of being a community-based brand like Gymshark is that I think when things are going well, I think it's really you know noticeable. I think everyone goes on about it on social media. But when things go badly, then that noise is 10 times louder and people really let you know about it. And I think that's right. I think that's the right thing to do. I think you guys should be holding us accountable. And it means that we really, really do pull out all the stops to make sure that this whole sales period goes as smooth as possible. So let's head around the office is going to have a chat to the different teams that are working on this Black Friday, get a feel of how everyone is, because we also know from a workplace point of view, this is a very stressful time of year, but it's also really exciting. So yeah, let's head over. Let's go and have a look and let's see what everyone else is doing in Gymshark headquarters. So we're currently sat in our Insight team, so everyone around here works in our Insight team, which sits a part of the wider marketing team. For Blackout, we've been helping give the paid social guys some lists about what people have been purchasing, what they've been browsing, to be more relevant with all the adverts that you guys are going to be seeing around Blackout. He uh, tries to understand, based on previous behaviour, what we think will happen this Blackout. Now, that really helps with a multitude of different things from traffic to the website like i said stock that we need and then that can be fed into the tech teams into the trading teams into the product teams and all the rest of the marketing team so we have a really good idea of what's going to happen the, the sort of domino effect that knowing some of the the things that jake and the guys can inform the wider business of makes a huge huge difference to some of the decisions that we make and it really does help us to make this black friday as seamless as possible 
welcome to my desk. I've only had this desk for two days. Is it two days? What day are we on? Tuesday. This is my second day here. This is my desk. We've got my little iPad set up, my computer. And we've got Alfred, who's currently not here. We've got Liz, who's not here. And we've got George. So George is in charge of basically everything search at Gymshark. Obviously, that makes up a huge amount of the people that will be coming through to the website on Blackout. And George is in charge of all of that. As Ben said, looking after everything Google related essentially. We've got lots of engagement trackers, so we're looking at just performance, um, how visible we are on Google, um, just to see how performing compared to last year to make sure that we're smashing it this year. There's been a bunch of fake websites that currently bid on the Gymshark key term when you're searching Gymshark on Google, and then they've sort of cloned our websites. That's something that the George team are currently working on and the legal team are working on trying to get rid of. But be very careful when you are clicking on that, make sure you're clicking on Gymshark.com. Gymshark product is only available at Gymshark.com. Historically, we've been heavily social focused, but now we're really investing in search as well because we think it's a great opportunity for us. Basically, search is where it's at. Watch this space. We want to make sure that we're driving as much hype as possible. It's all about making sure that we're getting people super excited for what's coming and also giving them all the information that they need, making them feel a part of the build up, the during and the post every step of the way. So we're asking a lot of questions for what people want to see. We're asking what information do they want to know? Things such as start times, end times, things such as like what will be happening from a website perspective, etc. So we're trying to make sure that we're super attentive to what our community really, really want to know about. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. So, oh, hi there. I'm creating a short video for like Instagram, Ooh. Twitter, Facebook, like basically covering all the questions that customers may have. Yeah. Oh, great timing. Let's talk blackout then. How are you feeling? Good. Excited? Nervous? Always Concerns? Feel, always feel nervous because you never know, do you? Yeah. So, there's always something that comes left field. There's always a small or there's, al there's always something. Yeah. I suppose our job in tech is to try and make sure that those things that happen are as minimal impact as possible. So, so what like what sort of prep have you done? So biggest metrics we look at from a front and low perspective mm -hmm. are a uh, request per minute. Mm -hmm. So a request is typically a click on the site. So looking at about 2.1 million requests per minute at peak. Mm -hmm. And then communicating that with Shopify, working with them to make sure we've got the right setup. Yeah. Lovely. But, Cheers, Perrins. Mate, well, I'm just really good looking. Uh, Apart from, you know, did you get that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. Is that time? Is that time of year? Here in China, chief commercial officer in charge of everything that is commercial here at Gymshark. But we're launching new products on Black Friday. We are so first time ever. So we're launching our new colorways of our camo range. We're launching our men's contrast range, maximize range. Not only is Renault's team giving us three times the amount of inventory as we had last year. We've also got new products launching as well, which is which is big. We are massively over-indexing our, almost like our menswear um, proportion to the business for next year to ensure that we're, we're ready. A very high focus in Spring 2020 on, on the men's product, mm -hmm. new concepts, more variety, you know, better performance, so good things to come. It was a Black Friday last year, right? Taught us more about customer experience than any other time in this business. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what's really spurred on actually a lot of the conversations we've had in this last year, actually how do we make it better um, in ways that people probably don't immediately see on the surface. So, have you found the build up to blackout in the last couple of weeks? Testing, 100% testing, but then really good as well. I keep like this, this analogy I keep saying to all the guys, which is like, the blackout is like, Ben's taking a photo of me and I'm feeling self-conscious. <laughs> Um, the blackout is like what in these new clothes <laughs> <laughs> that I bought five minutes ago. Um, no, it's it's like designing a car that can do 100 miles an hour and then taking it up to 120 just to see what's working really well and what's not. We've come a long way, and I think the sort of the really exciting bit is actually what's to come. Although we all get stressed, and at some point across these next two weeks, one or if not all of the four of us will get pissed off with each other about something or other. Aren't you like, it properly excites me as well. Love it. I love the beforehand, I love the post-mortem, because we get so much better. Oh, sit down. No, sit down. Steve, what are your thoughts on Blackout this year? Going into concern, no oversells. Yeah, no oversells, flawless customer experience. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do that then. <laughs> we'll get one yeah. of them. What do you think, Right lads, got the business done, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Hopefully this has given you a little bit more of an idea of just the insane amount of planning across 
an incredible amount of people, a bunch of different departments. It just gives you a little bit of an insight of that planning that goes behind Black Friday. There will be things that will go wrong, I have no doubt about that. Um, I think it's all about how we react to those things. Um, I think we're in a position where we're agile enough to react very quickly and make it as a seamless customer experience as possible. I'm really excited for this blackout. I'm a little bit nervous. I think this is really good from a Gymshark internal point of view because I think everyone really pulls together. It's a really special time of year. And we, if we win, we win together. And if we lose, we lose together. But the one thing that we all have made sure that we've done, and we've done this time and time again, is that the customer and the community is the heart of every single decision that we have made.